Hello and welcome to the first of our three videos regarding research. First, let's look at our overall objectives. We'd like to consider the research learning outcome of practicing context modules here at HCA. And then we want to look at how we investigate different types of source material and investigate issues surrounding their reliability. We want to introduce the concept of academic reading. And we want to develop your knowledge of the two main ways of presenting research evidence, which would be quotation and paraphrase. So these are our objectives for all three videos together. We're going to kick off by looking at what research is. Now, the practice in context assessment criteria asks you to provide evidence of the effective use of an appropriate range of research. And here we're looking at research as in the material you've read. It's worth bearing in mind that research forms 25% of the grading criteria, but it may have even more weight than this because the quality of your reading material, the evidence you found, drives your critical argument. So let's look at research. Research at level four has to be a purposed investigation. It is more than merely reading around a topic. In order to make sure it is purposed, many researchers actually formulate specific research questions because what you need to do is ask the questions you need to answer the PIC module brief effectively and find out possible answers based on the evidence you've read. So if we look at research in terms of question trails, the kind of question you might ask will vary depend on, depending on the complexity of the question or the subject that you're looking at. So they can be complex or more general. There are ways in which you can help yourself generate useful research questions. Now, this is the Hilsden model to generate critical thinking. And it starts with basic kind of descriptive questions, you know, what, when, who, and where. And then it progresses around to ideas such as why and how. So you might, at a basic level, over at the what and when questions, be looking at sort of what medium the um, art object is created in. Is it an oil painting? Or is it a watercolour? Is it a sculpture? And when it might have been made? Who made it? Where it was made? Those are very basic level questions, but most research will start with those kind of questions if you're new to the art object you're looking at. It will move on to ideas such as why and how. Why was it made? Then you move forward into evaluative questions. So um, things like hypothesis, what if? So what? What next? And you can use this sort of model to support your research trails throughout a project. Now, bearing in mind I've given you some very basic questions, I'd like you actually to look now at more questions that you'll be asking that are more appropriate to level four. So we might be looking at um, whether the art object represents a movement, or if so, what kind of movement did it represent? What kind of wider context is the artist working within? So this is looking at what and when questions, but in a slightly more complex way. And you'll also be looking at your analysis will be more complex as well. So why was that artwork popular at that particular time? Why was it shown in that particular way? Why was it shown in that particular context? What if the artwork had been created now? Would it still be considered groundbreaking? And finally, what might this tell us? What might the information we found out tell us about the relationship between the art object and its particular context? So these are some questions that are contextualised to the level of learning where you are at the moment. And these are the sort of questions you'll probably be asking yourself, but more tailored to your specific pick brief. So you must note at this point that at level four, research is not a simple representation of facts. This is a common student mistake. Many students bring out re well-researched essays that simply represent a wealth of material from various sources. But this isn't what we're looking for. 
What we want to see is your application of the information you found. And you need to do this within the essay framework. So consider the essay question and answer this with reference to all that lovely factual evidence you found through your research. Now, you'll find, as you research, that some research answers could be straightforward. For example, if we're looking at the 20th century, the date of birth of an artist is likely to be quite straightforward and not contested. But other answers could, and really will be, more complex. For example, you may find differing opinions on questions regarding how an artist's work is perceived. You almost certainly will. And in order to help present a sensible critical argument, you're going to need to evaluate the reliability of your research evidence, your source material. And we're going to look at that in our second short podcast. So please now spend a few minutes thinking about what I've presented to you. Um, and then when you're ready, scroll down the main page of the website and have a look for the second podcast. Thank you very much.